okay hope you're doing well and if you're new welcome to this channel so today we have a zara unboxing as usual um but this time, another one oh i actually said another one another one um but this time we have some boots to show you guys that was literally our first ever video when we started this channel and um we we're always explaining how buying things the season before often works out cheaper in the long run so we thought why not um show you guys what's on sale now in zara for autumn did i make any sense yeah great on what are you buying in summer for autumn yeah so without further ado let's jump straight into yes. the video but i think we're gonna try and make our videos quick so yeah we're gonna we won't talk a lot less <laughs> Um, is this one already open? Yes, it is. So, first box, we have these boots. Now, um, I think these are one of my favorites in this uh, boots unboxing. It's this black um, ankle boots. Um, like I've explained in previous videos, um, I'm not really here for the right at the ankle length. I think just above is perfect. Um, just some chunky black leather boots the pleated sole not as severe as ones we've seen on this channel before this actually is kind of quite mellow so anyone who's a bit scared of those soles this um isn't that bad i like the fact that they have the two-tone going on to the gray sole with the black boot i think it looks really nice um and yeah the little hooky thing to help you get in and out but i think this is a good sturdy pair which again when it comes to dresses um and such even dungarees or really like baggy jeans did we show them the tag please sorry yeah i can yeah let them I see can. that um we did get it in a size six originally 49.99 and then mommy how much did you <coughs> get it for on the sale was that mm, the sale price? maybe 19 or 15 i can't remember yeah but something under 20 pounds mm -hmm so yeah i think I this think one is just a dupe of the bottega boots where you have the maybe a black boots but then the sole gives you like a con contrast in such picture but yeah um yes 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 yes, yes. yes. Oh. it's just a dupe yeah so so a six yeah and that's um basically on for this one is this genuine leather it's not is it it is leather it is this is leather so 20 pounds for a pair of good sturdy leather boots think it really works out can't even find that in primark you know so yeah that was the first pair i wanted to show you guys we do have a good variety so depending on what you're wearing sometimes it's not always the black ones that are the best for what you're wearing mm -hmm. so this is what we're saying about it being leather can they see or i don't know take it back Alrighty. But my nails still look ratchet. So do mine. I've just done but it. But we get a job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there we are. That's that one. Moving on to the next box. Okay, it's different, completely different from the first pair. This is one of my favorite. So um, these are just so um like we were saying, these boots um, are rubberized, they're actually not leather. Um, and they are lace up, so I think that just adds a nice extra detail to the boot. Um, so they're rubberized, well. but they are matte, so you almost yeah, can, not you much. think that it's vegan, mm. so it's a clever, clever way of doing mm. things. Um, yeah, so just a thick sole, not too like you know, um, anything too outstanding. But I think the neutral pair is really good for the days that the black here yeah, just isn't cutting it. Um, I, I like the what fact colors. that sorry, mm -hmm. I like the fact that the sole and the boot itself is one color. One color. Yeah. It looks um, nicer, mm -hmm. cleaner. But yeah, um, what colors would you usually opt for the neutral rather than the black? If oh, yeah. if you're styling an outfit, you yes. mean. Mm -hmm neutral is black is a neutral yes. so anything that black can work with this can, this can work okay. yeah okay can put it with orange black sometimes blue it just elevates it yeah navy blue black. even charcoal gray brown mm, everything almost and yeah even white it would work. yeah so um size six as well 
I know it's originally $49.99. Mm -hmm. How much did you? I was just saying $15.19. I can't remember that, but they're all around £19. So, yes, a nice neutral pair, which I think people don't think to get because black and brown is both standard, but these will come in hand. Um, next box. Another little small one. And uh, we have another neutral pair. That I would say was more the beige sand tannish sort of neutral. Just off white. Whereas this, crew. yeah, this more of white and such. So same sort of rubberized, but even this rubberized is slightly softer than the first pair. Um, it looks like it'd be malleable to your feet. Um, and yeah, I just think again. It all depends on what you're wearing, whether or not you purchase um, whatever shade or whatever colour that you get. This, obviously, no laces, so also a different look. The sole is a lot thicker than that one and fewer ridges, but... It's still the Bottega thing. The Bottega yes. has a way of making this one so, is, yeah. so chunky and wide. Mm -hmm. So your feet... Most people who are probably size 7s and 8s don't really want to go for these type of shoes because already it makes your feet look, look bigger, bigger than, than they really it are. really is but then for me it doesn't matter that much it's just a statement piece really so you're wearing a black dress like a trapeze black dress and you want to offset it with something casual mm -hmm. or something youthful then this would be a good piece i i actually admire uh people who are in their 60s or 50s who and are able to carry like this. yeah, yeah. I agree. I really admire that. I agree. This one is also one of the slightly longer ones when it comes to the ankle. It's almost to your shin. Not yeah. to your shin, but, but almost. Slight, almost, yeah. So yeah, this is also just another one that can elevate an outfit. We got it in a size 7. And, oh, oh alrighty. Um, size 7. And yeah, price similar price to the rest. Mm, yeah. I think this was even cheaper. Mm. I think this was like twelve pounds or fifteen pounds. Understandable because I feel like people will be afraid to opt for yeah. it. So mm. they and really also, cheap also what happened is that one of the shoes I think is coming up. We bought it in two sizes, and then I realized that the seven was a better fit because it allows your toes, your toe to breathe. breathe. Right. Whereas the six, Whereas the six which is big. normally our size, wasn't so good. So I'm thinking that. And I have generally like a, a narrow feet and your yes, feet is just a little wide. Bit, it's not that wide. So if your feet is wider, then I'll say go up a size or even two because you mm -hmm. need a thick socks. Yes. So it allows room for that. Yeah. I agree. So, so yeah, that was this pair. Oh yeah, this one has two giveys to help you in, to be honest. But I think it also looks like a cool detail. I like it a lot. Um, the next box I have for you guys is this one. Why do I keep throwing the boxes? So yes. Now this color um, is kind of the in-betweener for the first two. Whereby um, the first, I mean, the one we just showed you was the lightest and then this. this is like a beige, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, so we had a sand. Yeah. Then the off white, and, and then, then a this beige. Is more so a beige. Again, out of the neutrals, I think this one is my favorite because of the aesthetic. It's the zip for me in the front. Obviously, fastening is usually towards the side to keep it quite hidden, and it's often actually the same color as the boot sometimes. But with this silver, the silver, I'm detail. really digging it. Um, again, it has the uh, Bottega sole. I, I think the way they've done it is very, very similar. Um, no, and yes. I think it has a Bottega, but then it's typical of Fendi. Oh, this one? Yeah, oh, okay. typical. Mm -hmm. It's just that it's missing the... They usually have like pockets, uh, what do you call that? Like little, little bags and belts around their Around boots. their boots. Yeah. Oh, so it's more busy. Because the Fendi ones, the sole is thicker, is wider and thicker in height. Whereas the Bottega ones, it's just wider right. with a bit of a right, okay, a cleated sole, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Um, and like my mom just mentioned, like 
buckles and bags and whatnot. I think I like how clean these Zara boots are. I'm not really about the buckles and things like that, which is why I've we've opted for them as well. Um, and I think this will suit a younger person, isn't it? Yeah, I also agree. I don't see my the cut in the nose. Either. I really like the one thing I think. Well, it depends how it looks on. Actually, do you know what? I wasn't so convinced about the height because, like I said, I like it slightly long mm -hmm. ankle boots. But when I wore these with the bigger jeans, they it was fine. They were hidden anyway, oh. so um, I actually really like them and how they fit. I'll show you guys the tag. We got it in a size six, and original was fifty five ninety nine. Um, whether or not it's level or not, I'm not sure. I think it would be. At do you see, do you see some nation? Can I mention something? Mm -hmm. What I've noticed, it's not, it's not a rule. Like mm -hmm. I always say, there's no rules in fashion. Do what you want to do, whatever you feel comfortable with. But a quick way or an easy way of being able to change, uh, change your wardrobe or introduce certain things that you're not familiar mm -hmm. with is to know how to use it. Mm -hmm. Obviously, hence this is the channel. Mm -hmm. What I've realized is that when you have boots and then the, the heel, it's almost like a or the sole it's almost like a platform mm -hmm. is it better to wear it with something that is long okay okay you see Do you know what that's very true yeah if, if if there's height in your shoes always opt for a longer thing right if it's flat go with short okay. it always works mm. this one for instance you can wear like an oversized shirt to your knee mm -hmm. and this will will bang it will okay. be nice yeah but if you take the same almost the same color almost the same but if you wear again it it's, makes it look like, like you're trying to do it but it's not working yeah it's slightly off okay uh -huh. I hear you. so the, my trick is that wear something long if the platform is huge mm -hmm. wear something long if it's flat you can go with something and short. i'll say yeah i agree and, it, and it, i think that's more works. of a um that's a good platform wear because when it comes to heels, heels are a bit more versatile in that mm -hmm. you wear heels and shorts mm -hmm. and it turns out fine. Mm -hmm. But I think platforms, exactly what you said, um, really applies. Oh, if you want it to look its best, I think that's uh -huh. good. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's what I'm trying to say. But yeah, um, again, so out of the neutrals, the black, that was my favorite in the blacks. And I think this is my favorite of the... Which one did you prefer of all of the neutrals? I think my, 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 my best is the these two. Song. This one? Oh, this, this one and the lace. Yeah, the lace one. Those oh, are my favorite. I can't remember the ones that are yet to come. I'll take out of the two, the the the, the white one. Awesome. Yeah, right. This one favorite. Alrighty, the next box we have for you guys. Let's see. This one. It's on nine minutes. We are trying to get oh, yeah. a twenty minutes or fifteen minutes video. <laughs> Let's go, go. Okay, so Black this white. one is an actual stark like white, white yeah, yeah. Um, boots. Um, they've contrasted it with the black on the sole and the black on the elasticated bits. Um, and I think this just looks amazing um, as black and white. Um, the ridges on the sole, something a bit more daring, but depending on what you are willing to go for could be good size six we got them in and for me yeah it's just the contrast in the black and the white that i think makes this boot look good as well as the sole the way it looks um again the slightly longer ankle which i'm here for and um yeah i think could work for quite a few things this one seems like more of a daring boot so a lot of people will be afraid of but can be styled quite well. I don't know if mommy has any R's ears that she's going to give you, but I'm sure you'll see it. Um, I don't know. When I look at this one, mm -hmm. it, it gives me or uh, it gives me that uh, the boots she before used to wear, Doc Doc Doc, Doc Martens. Martins. Oh. Yeah. Yes, it Without does. Without laces. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I think they even have a, a a copy of their boots, just black and white like that. But it comes with laces and black. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. They do. So this is what uh, I guess this 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 how yes, I that's it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this is this one was a hundred and nine, isn't it? Initially. Oh, this one. Have you shown the tag? Please show the tag. This is one is actually um, ninety nine ninety nine. Did you get this one? No, look on the other one. Is on it, the, are there two tags? The Maybe there are. Maybe there are. I don't know. We got them in a size six, by the way, guys. 
I don't know if you want to have no. a look at it. No, but it. yeah, it's definitely for the more um, outrageous uh-huh. person when it comes to fashion. Uh-huh. Maybe it was brought down, you know. Oh, okay, okay. So there we are. Mm-hmm. So. 109 originally which i find quite oh it's i think the quality of the leather yeah that's why i was gonna say it does look like it's been treated less than others i can see some sort of these ones not so much right these ones i feel like they're leather bits of leather glued together and then you know been treated treated been... again and then it's used yeah. but this one it's almost like cut straight from the yeah, leather so it looks really really raw which um i also think like, i think this one was the most expensive be... out mm-hmm. of the lot because uh, i think we picked this up for 39 or something like that okay coming from where it was i mean yeah and the thing for me is um i'm scared because obviously we said that this leather is a bit more genuine so it does fold and crease and with the whites it could um discolor at the creases do you under, do you get what i'm trying to say that's oh. what i'm scared of oh. so like if it creases at the toe a bit then it starts to get discolored i get what you mean mm-hmm. but then the truth of the matter is that because you wear i customize things even if i have to top it up you it's can, not a problem repair. yeah See, but i nice. think i think there's also a beauty in wearing something that is looks uh Butted a oh yeah, bit. like it's 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 hands Sometimes I'm even not happy wearing new shoes because they almost give the feeling that You're oh, wearing new, new shoes. shoes. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I, get you. I like it when it's it's been worn a bit. Yeah. Then I get to enjoy it more. So usually I just wear things to town and then before I wear Shine it anywhere cool. else. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. So that was the black and white boots. Um, from Zara. Remember guys, all of these boots are on sale, yeah. so you can grab them if you want. And this is us preparing for autumn. For autumn, yeah. yeah. So you guys can have some really cool new looks. Um, uh, okay. If you put everything we picked up together, it's it probably cost you somebody's one pair of boots yes. in winter. It should. Yeah, Especially so. if you people are going to, I don't know, UGG or going to, I don't know who. But, this is also another. This is actually the same thing, but in different colors, isn't it? Oh yeah, it is. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, mm-hmm. but yeah, it's actually the same boot in different mm-hmm. colors. So with the black, they kept it all black, but the bottom, the peanut butter bottom, which um, I think looks really nice. Um, oh, I would have loved this with a black sole. I think personally. So all, that ba- been, all black. Yeah, that would have hit the spot for me. But still looks really good. Still I think really we nice. have something like that in this house already. Mm, yeah. I think so, so again, it was the same starting price range, one hundred nine ninety nine, and we got them in a size six. But yeah, I'm sure there's a couple other sizes that they still have available. So yeah, this is just the black version. So depending on what black you prefer, there are options and how long you want it. Um, but yeah. With the grey and this length, then I think I'd be in heaven. I think, I think the other thing is that mm-hmm. the reason why we I even picked them up is that fashion is such that it's always changing. Yeah, I've looked on Zara's website and they're doing things like almost like knife boots again. Oh really? Yeah, and I'm not a big fan of knife boots. Mm. This is my my what's the word I'm looking for? It's like my taste. In boots this is what I'll like go for if I'm given the options I'll go for this right so for me even if night boots comes back I'm not likely to buy two pairs or even three pairs I'll probably Delvin. just yeah see that one way. that I think oh this is cool I don't mind adding to it but then when I see something like this and it's a trick in fashion when you see things that suit your body or you like get it when, was it? when the seasons change everybody's doing their own thing you're still happy with your classics and yep. what fits to your and what suits you. And what suits you. <laughs> but yeah, um, I think with, like mommy said, with the, especially things that are trends, just having the one pair, especially from Zara as opposed to, I don't know, other bigger names, works out better. So, yes, happy with those ones. And then this one, this one is belong. So let's be quick, we can make it. We can, can make, make it in 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's another. So this one is another good one, and I think yeah, we both really agree on these. Let me just shake that box. 
and it is the khaki rubberized boots like these or are they leather these boots. oh they're rubberized oh, okay yeah. they're rubberized they just look so with this one i look at the same one these. they have oh yeah but i'm um, just longer isn't it or is it the same length these um uh, again, all one color, which is what I was speaking about with the black. I just feel like it looks really cool like this. It's like a maybe a khaki, taupey, greeny, very neutral, very earthy, a hey, earthy, which I really like. Um, nice platform to it. I just think on oh, they would look really cool. They would look very very cool. Um, yeah, so I don't they think they're this. Are they the same? They're not. I don't they're know. not similar. Oh, they're really just similar. Mm, they're not the same. Okay, so yeah, similar. these boots. Um, we got them in a size dun, 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 six, and they're originally forty nine ninety nine. Um, do you remember the price of these? That you oh, got they were all around like I said, fifteen, nineteen. Oh my god, they're about the code. So yeah, yeah they're yeah. about. Yeah, I just yeah. think these um look really nice and because of how they've done it like the same matte rubberized they look slightly high-end mm. to me personally so i'm Did very you, happy with them with zara zara i don't think zara has anything original anisha <laughs> oh yeah 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 <laughs> and sometimes that's the tactic you know just to everything they do is almost like gained from yeah somewhere else. gained from yeah. somewhere else and i don't know why high shoes don't do that because zara sells out Ooh. like like crazy nobody's business but it's just because they're looking at designers and they're just copying what they're doing yeah and they're, they're making their money so i think it makes sense to just you know like bishop says people don't like to feel like oh i'm copying somebody but, but to be honest i think you copying. go far and you learn well when, you when you're copy, able to yeah. copy mm -hmm. you follow someone doing something so, i'm just i'm just saying that we've got this one okay yeah I'm talking about buying things in multiples when you when it's, it's something you like. You like, yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. We got this brown one. Have we shown this brown one already, Nisha? I, I feel like we should have, or we you will, can show to it. be honest. You can. But with these, this is basically the brown version, obviously, of yeah. these, and this has the black to contrast it as well. Um, just gives me actually workaday boots vibes. This look actually. You said um, it gives again, you. You know, like um, workaday. So like, I don't know. Farmer construction. I don't mm, know. Mm, they mm, yeah, they vibe mm, with this, and mm, I really like it. Mm, um, so it's very androgynous. Mm, so once you throw, and it's very it's robust, stuff. very boxy, very yeah, you know, really and nice. that's that's how it's meant to look, really. Yes. So we got them in a size six, and they were also forty nine ninety nine. You've pounds. worn these these before. We did like a shoot, shoot and then with you them. Wore them. Yeah. Yeah. Were they I good? Wore are they comfortable? Um. Yeah, they are. I would say that they're comfortable. With boots, I don't know how uncomfortable, unless my toes really hit the edge. I'm not really too fast on comfortability. And the advantage these ones have over night boots is that they're not narrow towards, towards the toes. The so right. your, your toes your feet is literally happy. Breathing, breathing like yeah. all the time. Um, so yeah, this was a nice, good, nice brown tan. Oh yeah, brown mm. to have in the collection. I think it, they are just a dupe of Bottega and uh, is it Prada? And do you know I'm always saying Fendi instead of Prada. Oh really? So and I'm Prada. always saying Chanel when I'm just, I'm supposed to be saying Say Gucci. Gucci. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Maybe there's things that have been similar Similarity, crossover. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, but yeah. yeah, I think that was the last. I episode. think we made it. How 20. did we do? Nisha, we are on twenty exactly. So sign up. <laughs> But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Let us know if you want to see more of things like this where it's like all similar items together and whatnot. Um, like the video, share, subscribe, all of that jazz. And hopefully we'll see you in the next one. If it fits, feel free and have fun styling it. Bye guys. Bye.